There's nothing wrong with hanging around people who you grew up with, who think a certain way, who have a certain mentality when it comes to money and all those things. There's nothing wrong with that if you don't want to level up. Ooh, ooh, rah, rah, rah. Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls. My name is Preston Smiles and I help people create their most abundant lives now. And today's transmission is the 10 mistakes people make when it comes to money. Now, before I go any further and go into the 10 mistakes, there's a few things I want to get straight with you. Number one, if any of these resonate and land for you, leave it in the comments because the more you interact, the more you engage, one, it hits your brain and your biology in a different way, and two, it helps me understand what's landing and serving you because my job is to serve, to teach, and to help elevate the consciousness on the planet. And if you stay to the end, I have something for free that is ridiculous and will instantly help you take everything you have to the next level. So let's start with mistake number one. This one is extremely common and just to give you a little backstory, you know, I was making $36,000 a year and was having a really hard time because I thought I was <laughs> epic, you know, I'm like, I'm a good dude. What is actually going on here? And what I found outside of doing the identity work and some of the stuff that I offer now to coach people through the Abundance Reset is mistake number one. And that is I was avoiding the numbers. I was avoiding looking at my bank account. I was avoiding adding things up. I was avoiding seeing where I was spending, where I wasn't spending. I was just avoiding numbers altogether. That is mistake number one when it comes to money and bringing it in. Mistake number two when it comes to money that also was a really big one that, that kind of messed me up was I didn't have goals that pertain to money. And when I did, the goals were either ridiculous, like I'm gonna make 30 billion in five seconds, or they were super, super, super low, and I still didn't believe myself. If you wanna level up, the universe is like Play-Doh. It's malleable, and how it takes direction. There's a universal law, there's principles that just govern our whole world, like the, the law of gravity, right? None of us have any issues with the law of gravity. None of us have any issues with the law of boy because we see boats float on top of water. But a lot of us have issues with the law of circulation. One of the biggest pieces with circulating is, is having a clear directive, giving the universe an understanding of where you want to go. So you must have goals. That's mistake number two. Mistake number three is not paying yourself, period, right? Especially if you're an entrepreneur or somebody who is in business for yourself or even if you, you take care of your family, right? Some of you are watching this and you're really hardworking and you take care of your family and it's super important that you pay yourself first. And if it's not first, it better be a close second. The, you know, the electric bill and the this and the that all get your money and you never take even just a little bit and say, this is for me. This is for the house goal. That's number two. This is for uh, the vacation. This is for investing, which will be one of them, right? If you don't do that, come on, come closer. If you don't do that, you are bound to uh, screw yourself, truly. The fourth mistake people make when it comes to money is having bad debt. Bad debt is uh, a silent killer for so many people. You know, I remember seeing some of my roommates and friends in college just buy the stupidest stuff and put everything on credit cards. And credit cards are not bad, they're actually awesome. What's bad or doesn't serve is putting stupid stuff on credit cards that have really high interest, right? Good debt, houses. Good debt, uh, things that appreciate assets. Bad debt, Gucci purses. Bad debt, stupid stuff, right? So that one's cut and dry. If you have bad debt, start working on clearing some of that. Mistake number five, and this one may be a little tricky for some people, is hanging around broke people. There's nothing wrong, hear me loud and clear, there's nothing wrong with hanging around people who you grew up with, who think a certain way, who have a certain mentality when it comes to money and all those things. There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't want to level up. 
If you want to level up, I would suggest that you remove yourself from some of those scenarios uh, emotionally and spiritually and, and psychologically. Meaning, if you only hang around broke people, that's what you will become, that's what you will swim in, that's how you will think. I'm not saying that it's either or, I'm not telling you to get rid of your friends. What I am suggesting is that if you're going to be surrounded by people who think about money as the root of all evil and rich people are this and all these things, when they're, if they think like that, then you better be listening to videos like this, taking courses like the Abundance Reset, doing a million other things to offset that mentality because we, we become who and what we swim in the most. If you're swimming in people's consciousness that are negative and coming from scarcity, you're going to get more of that. That's number five. Number six is a lack of awareness when it comes to taxes. I don't care if you're making 30,000 or 30 million taxes wherever you are can be tricky and there are ways, legal ways for you to navigate those so that you keep more of your money and you invest it back into yourself, into your business, into your family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Taxes, figure it out, do some research. YouTube has a million free things. There's articles all over Google. Spend the time figuring out how you can minimize some of your taxes. I am all for paying for taxes, but also recognize that one of the reasons why the rich get richer is they understand the tax game. The seventh mistake is believing that where you are is ultimate reality and it has anything to do with your personal worth. This is a money mistake even though it doesn't seem like it. If you think that where you are, where you live, how you eat, what's in your bank account, if you think all of that is stuck, it is concrete, there is nowhere else to go, you've screwed yourself. You must understand that you live in an intelligent universe that can make a way out of no way. I believe that I serve a God that can, can move mountains when necessary. And the mountains get moved by my consciousness. The mountains get moved by the directive of my consciousness and the feeling tone from which I believe about myself. And so that's your work. Number eight, the eighth mistake that people make is not investing and gambling with some of that money that you saved or put to the side. If you just inch by inch only save what you're getting from your daytime paycheck, you will be in the same place 20 years from now. You'll be in the same place 30 years from now. The work is to pay yourself first, which was number three, and take some of that and say, this is my house, and then take a little bit more of that and say, this is Bitcoin, this is stocks, this is bonds, this is treasuries, this is you name it, right? This is art, right? I don't care what you, this is NFTs. I don't care what you invest in, but if you only play the game that you've been playing, you're gonna have what you've been having. So people wait too long to invest or they just never invest and you gotta gamble, right? Sometimes some of it is it's just pure luck. It's just you being willing to play. Number nine, this again is so simple, but it's so big. This mistake is so big and it is having bad energy when you pay for things because money is just a tool. Money is like everything else in the universe, right? It's malleable just like this ball. This, this ball is a tool to play games with. Money is a tool to play life with. And if you have a negative view towards money, if every time you go to pay for something, you have this fear and lack and limitation and scarcity and stories and oh my God, what if we die on the streets because I can't pay for this and all of that stuff, and you hate money, then money will hate you. It's listening. It's, it's neutral until you name it. So if you name it bad, if you name it scarcity, if you name it lack, it's gonna be that. If you name it as a tool for you to serve humanity, if you name it as a, a, a portal for you to have more fun, express more joy, if you name it as a thing that helps you give even more because you are an inherent giver, then that's what it becomes. And then mistake number 10, and it's the last one, Mistake number 10 is not studying. Not studying. Right? You wanna be good at anything, you study it. You wanna be good at anything, you study it. And guys, money is here to stay for now. So you could either avoid it or you could look at it and study it and notice and play and learn and grow. And that, my friends, is exactly why I'm making this video. I have a free series, a free training called the Seven Abundance Activators. This is one of the biggest game changers for so many people and uh, it's in the link right here, right below. Click that link, join, it's for free, and allow yourself to be moved and influenced, right? What do you have to lose when it comes to learning and growing? You know, I'm not, I don't have $30 billion in my bank account, but this is, 
a multi-million dollar house. I have multiple toys and things I play with all the time. I take care of my family. I love on people. I serve God. I'm nobody and, and, and I'm somebody. So if you believe and you've seen, especially if you've been around and you've seen my career and you've seen this thing grow, I've been doing this for 15 years. I'm telling you, I'm studying it nonstop. There are inner laws of success that I put in that seven abundance activators that will serve you. So click the link below, leave a comment, and make sure you give this thing a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Blessings and blessings. Namaste.